Good afternoon, CLHS. It's October 6th, and then it's a BEA beautiful day, too. Welcome to your RTV News. We've got a great broadcast for you today. Today we have all your announcements, lunch special, and your Royal Sports Update with Miss Eagles. We also have your RTV weather report. How's the weather looking today, Tori? Thanks, Sierra. Coming up in a few minutes, I will have all of your weather for today and this week. Back to you, Kiana. Thanks, Tori. And now it's time to get your RTV News started. Remember to bring your Boston Pizza receipts into the office to support our athletic programs. We are only taking them up until Christmas holidays. Pre-order the next yearbook now, online, or through the office. If you aren't sure if you've pre-ordered, Mr. Darju will be posting a list outside of his classroom. If you are a member of the True Team, you need to get your signed forms into Miss Moon in room 2609 ASAP. The first deposit of cheer fees is due on Wednesday, so make sure you pay the $150 if you would like to keep participating in your stunt group. School photos are in. Make sure to pick up your package in the Learning Commons at lunch. Interested in attending an international school for grade 11 or 12? The website below has all your information for applications and full scholarships to attend schools that focus on international and intercultural understanding. If you have more questions, see Mrs. LaPointe who can get you in contact with Libby Farrell, one of Cold Lake citizens currently attending school in New Mexico. Now let's go to Tori with your weather forecast. Good afternoon, CLHS. I'm Tori and this is your RTV weather. Today is supposed to be rainy with a high of 11 and a low of 4. Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday is supposed to be cloudy with, a ch with some sun. To tomorrow it's a high of 11 and a low of 4. Wednesday is a high of 6, low of 0, and Thursday is a high of 11 and a low of 2. I'm Tori and that's your RTP weather. Back to you, Kiana. Thanks, Tori, for that great weather report. CLHS will be holding its Remembrance Day ceremony on Thursday, November 9th, and we are looking for student participants to perform readings and or songs, sing O Canada, as well as cadets to carry in our flag, and a student from each grade to carry a wreath. If you are interested, please come to a meeting in room 2405 at lunch, Tuesday, October 17th, or see Ms. Johnson if you cannot make the meeting. Grade 10, 11, 12 students that are interested in a science oh career are invited to apply for the CHAD program next summer. Students work at a university for the month of July and experience a whole new learning environment. See Mrs. LaPointe if you would like more info. Our lunch special today is chili on a bun for $5 and broccoli cheese soup for $3. Now let's go down to the gym for your Royal Sports, sports Update with Mrs. Eagles. Let's start off with football. The senior football team played St. Paul. Um, it was a close game, but they ended up losing 19-14. So they actually have a week off. They're waiting to see what happens in a game this weekend. So they're on a little bit of a break, which will be good for them because there's some injuries and whatnot. So it gives them some time to rest. Um, the junior boys volleyball team went to Two Hills. Uh, they lost in the crossovers, but played well and we're happy with how they did. Uh, the junior girls volleyball team went to Lloyd. Uh, they, mm, I believe they finished uh, fifth overall and they ended with a victory, so that's always a good way to end the tournament. Uh, the senior boys went to uh, Red Deer and they won the consolation final, which is awesome. So they only ended up losing to the two strongest teams of the tournament. So they were very happy with how they played and they were very, um, they had a very short bench, so that was really good. Um, and I believe that's all the sports that went on this past weekend. So can you tell us what sports are coming up this weekend? Sure. So um, all the volleyball teams have a week off, so that's good. Football has a break as well. So the only team that's in action is the cross-country team is heading to provincials. Um, I'm really excited because Mr. Kaminsky is the coach, but I get to head with them. Um, so we'll be leaving Friday afternoon, and they'll be running uh, Saturday morning. So uh, Maria Teal, Andy Walker, Delaney Vincent, uh, Anita Roy, Holly LaTondra, uh, Eric Zimmerman and Carter Simpson, I believe, are all the people. I apologize if I forgot anyone, but yeah, they're going to be running and we're really excited to see how they do. Hey, Kiana, why did the banana go to the hospital? I don't know. Why did he go to the hospital? He wasn't peeling well. <sighs> That's all for your RTV News. Have a great day and stay classy, CLHS. 